hi everyone in this video I'm going to demonstrate on how to model analyze and design trusses first thing is go to files menu and start a new project there are a few templates here so I will choose this one and then declare the dimensions of the truss I don't want an overhang which is indicated by letter E here so I will set the length of overhang to 0 and then click OK 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 and this is now the initial model next thing is i will apply or declare the load case um, there are predefined load keys here did load and live load so i only need to add the win load win load add then I will declare the combination load cases first um, the did load plus live load and declare the load factors here okay add I will also add a combination case for win load Okay, and then add I will add the serviceability condition or did load plus live load for serviceability this is to check the deflections only not part of the strength design now next i uh, have to declare the section libraries as you can see here all of these members are using a wide flange because this is the default of the frame wizard so i have to add section libraries for angular sections okay these are equal angles okay and then click okay now i need to change the section properties of the top chords to angles because if I will assume a wide flange then frame CE will think that um, the design will use wide flange section Okay, change the top chords to uh, angle, angular section. And change the bottom chords. to angular section here and then select the verticals and diagonals 
right mouse click edit beam properties I will assume as 4x4 apply exit now in 3d um, member sections what you can see is this next is I will apply the loads select the top chords then click this button apply element loads I will assume that the loads are distributed along the length and that of the top chord one kilonewton per meter apply and then I will click um, bottom chords and then here I will apply minus one apply and then exit so all the loads I have applied are for did load because I am currently in did load case so to apply live loads I have to go to live load and then again select the members that will receive the loads and then instead of clicking this button apply load I can also right mouse click and then apply element load and the same thing okay and then apply exit now next is the wind load now again I have to select um, the elements that will receive the load and then click element load button and wind load is different from did load and live load because it is always perpendicular to the member so i have to choose local load type and then apply the loads I'll, uh, as I'll, I mean along the major axis as you can see here the loads are perpendicular to the top chords now I have the loads completed I have well as as you can see I still don't have the support here so if I run the analysis what you can see is an error misses because the structure is unstable I need to have the supports before the structure can be stable so I will declare the, the supports as in these two nodes click this button edit node properties and then hinge and then apply and then exit now again if I will run the analysis I will get an error I will I see. Ah, it's okay now. I'll check. Aha, uh -huh. okay, it's. Ah, uh, uh, yep. It's okay now. Then I will do the design by clicking this design but um drop down box and then i need to declare which load keys will be used 
for the strength design okay and then to design the member I have to de I mean design the top cords um, in one design because I need to have these members at the same section the the problem is that if I will design uh, one at a time I mean if I will design each top chord segment one at a time then I will get different design sections and for me to have all these sections are the same size I need to design these members in one go okay so click this button then I will choose a single angle then it takes a bit of time because frame CE will um, get all the loads for for all those members selected now I have here the section sizes um, the template will give me ideas which sections are safe and it says here that 3 by 3 by 316 is safe so I will Um, 3 by 3 by 316 this one okay and then it says save so I can use this for my design so i'll click main menu save as pdf then save and then okay and then exit now you can do i mean this is just an example so the rest are, are the same for designing now I want to check the deflections so click this wide displacement button and then see here um, the 3d members shows me um, the deflections are maximum at the mid span as indicated by read um, color so I guess um, this is all for this example so thank you for having uh, fun with frame CE